Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install, configure and connect to Couchbase server on Windows operating system. See, I am on Couchbase official website and I am in install on Windows document. I will share this document in the video description. Now click on this download page. Click on server. See here we have two options. Couchbase server enterprise and Couchbase server community. For community edition, no need to login. For enterprise, you have to log in. But if you go for enterprise, if you select the version, see these are the list of the versions. Then if you select the type of operating system, then when you click on download, it will ask us to provide the basic information. I have already provided, just click on download. Once we provided all the information and click on download, this you will get this link. Then we have to click on download see when i now download download has been started see it is downloading the so size is 800 megabytes i'm cancelling this down because i have already downloaded the couchbase server now click on this msi file you see this is welcome page for couchbase server setup click on next Check this checkbox to accept the license agreement and click on next. This is the path where Couchbase server files and folders will be copied. If you want to change, click on the change and change. I am going with the default one, so click on next. Then click on install. If you receive pop-up like to install any MSI, you have to click on S. We have successfully installed Couchbase Server 7.2.5325 Enterprise Edition. Click on Finish, Start, Verify whether it is there or not. See, we don't have any application. The only option is open new tab, then give the localhost 8091, then hit enter. See, this is the fresh installation, so we have to click on set up new cluster. If you have an existing cluster, you have to click on join existing cluster. So, mine is new, so I am going to set up new cluster. Click on it, provide the name for the cluster. I am giving cluster name as R2 schools. It can be anything. Then, create admin username. I am not going to change this name, but when you are going to connect to Couchbase, you must give caps here, which means username and passwords are case sensitive. If you give like small case here, then it will throw error. So then provide the password for this admin username. Then click on accept terms. Then check the checkbox. That is, I accept the terms and condition. If you want share usage information and get update notifications you have to check this checkbox otherwise uncheck it if you want to configure disk and memory services you have to click on this one otherwise click on finish with defaults never see this is the our new couchbase cluster dashboard see we have connected with administrator we want to change the password for the Currently logged in user, you have to click on change password. 
you want to run the queries you have to click on this query then here we have to write the query here we have different output formats like table json chart plan plan text or advice okay we have to write queries and we have to click on execute if you want to create a user you have to click on security there we can create ldap add group or add user if you want to create users you have to click on add user then provide the name username r2 schools full name is option but i am providing provide the password again provide the same password see we have created a user if you want to see the views you can click here. at present i would don't have anything if you want to see the list of the servers in this cluster we have only one if you, if you want more information about this cluster click on this ip or the name see this is the information about this cluster this is the cpu utilization ram and swapability details if you want to see the buckets at present we don't have any buckets if you want to add bucket we have to click on add bucket settings see these are the settings if you want to change anything you can change and you have to click on save otherwise you have to click on cancel click on dashboard now we have connected with the local host but we can also connect using ip sign out then open cmd then ip config to check the ip of this machine see this is the ip paste it 8091 now we will try with new user that is auto schools so click on sign in user doesn't have permission to okay we will uh, grant this login privilege after so would user doesn't have privileges so try with the admin user click on sign in this time it will throw error see login field please try again why because we have to give caps here click on sign in see we have successfully sign in now click on security click on user edit then administrator see here we have to grant the privileges based on the availabilities if you want full admin you have to click on full admin and save changes now sign out artoscos see user is able to log in see we logged in with the user artoscos sign out now now we will go with host name that is see this is the host name copy this one paste here 8091 see we got the same and provide the password see so we can connect to couchbase server by using local host or server name or desktop server name or machine name or by using the machine ip if you want to see the documents see at present i don't have any documents if you want to import you have to click on this import button you can import by clicking on this select file to import that will be loaded here we can then we can select the file formats in servers if you want to add another server you have to click on add server then we have to provide host name or ip then add, then username and password then we have to click on add server at present i don't have any server so i'm canceling it so in this video we have seen if you want to start stop or restart couchbase server you have to go to services then see here at present couchbase server is running if you want to stop you have to click on stop or you have to click on the stop button or right click and click on stop all three are same In the same way if you want to restart select the service and right click and click on restart or click on this restart button or click on this restart link all three options are same how to download install configure and connect to couchbase server on windows operating system for more couchbase 
सर्वर वीडियोस प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू